Hi, my name is Dex from My Consult, and since 2003, we actually been helping business owners simplify their accounting systems. So we actually started this channel so that we can help even more people use their systems more effectively. And if you like what we are doing today, do like and subscribe to support us. All right. So in today's video, as we begin finalizing our accounts, one of the frequently asked questions posed by our clients would be, how do we do depreciation or how do we post depreciation inside AutoCount? Okay. So the first thing that we you would need to do would be if you do not have the fixed asset module inside your auto account is to have an excel sheet for all your fixed assets all right so for us right now we have something like this so if you need a template you can actually contact us and we actually will be able to uh, send you this template for your reference all right so based on this excel we can then compute what would be your depreciation for the month or for the year so like example for this one will be on a monthly basis all right so but however in this example i will be showing you how to do it on a yearly basis okay so we just take the lump sum value all right so once we actually compute and we say okay example this is the depreciation for the entire year all right so it comes out to 2846.77 all right so to do that all we just need to do is open your auto account go to gl come here to journal entry press new so let's say we want to do for the year, right? So we can actually put this in depreciation for the year, right? And then we put in the last day of the year, 023. Then from here, we can select our accumulated depreciation account. Accumulated depreciation account. So let's say, for example, the first one, furniture and fittings. All right. So for the accumulated depreciation, it should be on your credit side. So we just take the number. This is your off furniture and fittings. 2846.77 then we put here 2846.77 and then after that we will select the next line depreciation of fixed assets and then for this depreciation expenses it should be on your left side all right so 2846.77 okay and the next one will be your office equipment a cube office equipment and then we take the number here so we follow your excel sheet scroll down it's said 1889.70 okay 1889 again for accumulated depreciation it should always be on your credit side and for the depreciation expenses should be always on your debit side okay 1889.70 okay so once you're done we just press save all right so let's say for example come the next year right so you want to do the same depreciation journal entry we can come in double click we can press copy to new journal entry then we can just change the date say example 31st december 2024 and if there's any changes you can adjust it accordingly and once we're done we just press save Alright, so that's actually how easy it is for you to key in depreciation expenses inside auto account. If you have a topic you'd like us to cover, do leave a comment below. Thanks.